Hey humans, Coach Nate here again. Wanted to reach out to you once again um, just to share with you more information, tactics, approaches that I've used to get through trying times. Hopefully you are in a place out of the uh, public arena, um, away from exposing yourself to conditions that may uh, be life-threatening. In practicing uh, quarantine or social distancing, which is a good thing for our health, physical health, it can also be a challenging thing or even a bad thing for our mental health. Times of isolation, the mind can start going, moving rapidly, creating different thoughts and scenarios, creating things that don't exist, especially if you find yourself in a position where you may have uh, lost income uh, through the loss of a job or reduced hours, um, perhaps been laid off, furloughed, you know, any number of circumstances. We've got the health risk, but closely attached to that is a financial risk. So the mind can then kick into high gear and make things even worse than they actually are or seem. You may ask, well, how, how can the mind make it worse? This is reality. Uh, by inventing things, by being creative, by being innovative. That's kind of how the, how the mind works, which then causes me to think of uh, another passage in the, in the Bible, Philippians 4 and 3, where it says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. The component of that, which really stands out most, is be anxious for nothing. In the Amplified, it breaks it down even further. Do not be anxious or worried about anything, but in everything, every circumstance, every situation. It talks about don't fret, don't have anxiety. So you say, well, Nate, how can I not? Well, how can you rely on, be moved by emotionally something that doesn't yet exist? Well, what do I mean by that? In times where I've lost jobs, where I went broke in the process of going doing that, where I faced extreme financial hardship. What I've learned in that process is to ask myself, how is this affecting me right now in this very moment? In times where there are crises, adversity that's affecting us in the very moment, whether you're perhaps in an accident or fleeing for your life for perhaps, or some situation, the adrenaline kicks in and your, your mind is focused on how do I address this right now? But if it isn't happening at this moment, if you're fearing or having anxiety over something that may happen in the future, it's not affecting you right now. That's what I mean by not having anxiety, not fretting, worry. That will not serve you to fret and worry. You're actually taking you, you, the way the brain works, firing off negative thoughts. It can actually make you physically ill, sick. It can weaken your immune system. It can make you more susceptible to this virus. Worrying is a wasted effort energy. Well, well, how can I stop worrying, you might ask. And the other part of that, Thanksgiving. You can shift your mind very quickly when you start adding up the things, counting, recalling those things that you have to be thankful for. And even in prayer. Prayer to me is, yes, there's the formality, but it's a conversation. Different than religion, if you have a relationship, you're having a conversation. And, and in my way of not fretting, not being anxious for anything through prayer and supplication, I'm asking for strength to get through it, not necessarily the removal. That, that would be nice, but that doesn't always happen. There are times where we go through things and that is we can be helped. We can come out better as a result of going through that by the strengthening. So I ask for grace and mercy and protection to give me what I need to get through this situation. Having had to start over from zero more than three times in my life, I know what it's like to go through a situation. 
I know what it's like to go through financial hard times and then that spawns off relationship issues and you worry about foreclosure and eviction and repossession and losing family members in the midst of that. During there, there were times where I was dealing with that and I was also dealing with cancer. And so I had to learn to rely on to not be anxious for anything, any circumstance, any situation, to know that I will get through it. I don't know how. Quite frankly, that's none of my business. But to have the faith, the confidence, as I talked about in the first video, not having, we weren't given the spirit of fear, but having the faith, the belief, the conviction, not because I feel it, but just knowing that regardless, we'll get through this and I'll be better off as a result of it. Then that takes you to, gets you to, again, not worrying, not fretting, not having anxiety, being thankful in the requests that are put for with a positive expectation. That takes you to the, the second part of that verse, and that is experiencing the second, the next verse, which is seven, is the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds. And that is key. When your mind and your heart are connected on the same platform, level, frequency, and are guarded, frequency is important. If I like a specific type of music, or shall I say, if I dislike a, a certain type of music, would it make sense for me to tune the, the radio to that frequency? No. So if I dislike disharmony, if I dislike uh, fear and anxiety, and why would I tune my mind to those things? And in that it says, if we guard, it, 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 the peace that surpasses all understanding is that if our minds and our hearts are guarded, it's in a place of being thankful. It's in a place of being, of having faith and belief that this storm will pass, as Maya Angelou said, even the storms run out of water that we will get through this, right? And that's, a, that's the guarded place, to not be susceptible to being taken down a path of what ifs and imagining all of the worst possible scenarios. Shift that in the, in the therapeutic world, uh, mental health world, it's called thought stopping and replacing. So when you start imagining the worst case scenario, stop that thought in its tracks and replace it with a, what if it works out positively? What if it works out to my advantage? What if I come out better as a result of this? Whether that be able to deal with challenges, we're going to face them until we're no longer walking on this earth. Whether through example, I'm able to help other individuals, help bring them up, help inspire them. There are many different ways in which we can benefit from this and it's not always material. And that shouldn't hold us down. We'll leave this world the same way we came in it, like naked and with nothing. Somebody will have to close this, but the bottom line is nothing that you can touch and put your hands on materially is more important than your life, more important than your peace, more important than your stable frame of mind. So guarding our hearts and our minds, we experience that peace that surpasses all understanding is it doesn't make sense. I'm in the eye of the storm or the heart of the storm. The eye of the storm is where it can be calmed, having been there for years on end. I'm not speaking to you from something that I simply have read, but something that I've experienced. And that's really why I'm reaching out to share with you, to, to inspire, to encourage. You will get through this. There is a way, a path to get through this peacefully, calmly. That's, that's the, the focus here. It's a path that you can choose. And it's, it's based on, on faith. It's based on a belief. It's based, based on knowing. So I, I would just encourage you to be anxious for nothing, to guard your minds and your hearts, thinking of things that are pleasant and good, thinking of what you hope for, wish for, praying for strength, mercy, and grace to get through this, and then to emerge victoriously as a result of that. Do not let your mind be bantered back and forth or tormented by what the mind can create. The 
doesn't exist and may not ever come to pass. Some of the worst things that I imagined never happened. But I affected my health adversely by allowing that to bounce around inside my head. So I, I would like you to do it differently. I've already made that mistake. Go make your own. Okay? I hope the best for you. I hope that you are safe and well, you and your loved ones. And I hope and pray that you continue to be that way. Be peaceful. Get rid of anxiety. It's no place, nowhere near you. And as you hear me say often, live your best life on purpose now.